I think this will be my new drive vlogging angle. That way both hands can be on the wheel and I'm safe. Speaking of, see this little guy right here? This is a Garmin Fitbit and I paid a pretty dollar for it. Not gonna lie, it was $130 because when I went to New York, my friend had one and it showed how many miles we walked and how many calories we burned each day and yada 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 and we ended up walking about 13 miles each day in New York. I mean, because we never really took a cab. We took the subway a few times. That's just because we were in the financial district. And then we had to go to the Upper East Side, which, if you don't know, that's like total opposite ends of Manhattan. So we obviously weren't going to walk that. Although we did walk from like Times Square area to the end of Central Park, which is about 40 blocks. So that was about as far as we walked. Anyways. I got an email this morning from Dick's Sporting Goods that these are on sale for $79.98. Don't you hate when that happens? You pay so much for something and then for no reason, like no reason, there's nothing special about today like that there should be that big of a sale. It's not Black Friday. I mean, I'd understand if it was Black Friday or if it was Christmas time, but no. Like, how are they just going to drop $50 on something? Because honestly, when I bought it, I was like, this doesn't seem like it's worth $130. But I'm just such a big tech nerd that I don't care. If it's techy and I like it, I'll just buy it. Because obviously battery operated stuff these days is not cheap. So anyways, that's my morning ramble. And here is the schedule for today. I'm going to school. And then I'm gonna go home and clean my apartment because I it's a mess yeah there. I'm usually so organized and such a neat freak but because I'm never home lately um, I just don't have time to keep up with it I don't think I've done laundry in three weeks because I just haven't had a chance and when I do get a chance to do laundry it's either freezing or raining outside and I don't feel like walking to the clubhouse because in my old apartment we had washer dryer hookups but in this apartment no I don't have I don't even have hookups to go and get a washer and dryer so that kind of stinks and I really miss having a washer and dryer of my own in my apartment so that's what I'm gonna do when I get home just clean up fun stuff dishes laundry organize, clean out my car because I'm going home tomorrow? No, today's Friday. I'll go home Sunday. So, yeah, tomorrow for you guys. And then I have to go and babysit and then I think I'll be off for the rest of the night, which is great. So, I'll see you guys in a second. I just got out of school, although it may not seem like it to you all because you don't actually see me go to school, but I swear I was there. But I just had a chemistry lab and first of all, it's supposed to be like a hands-on lab where we do, you know, the stuff, whatever we're doing for the week. But today, it was just an hour and a half lecture of him talking about acids and basics. Basics. Acids and basics. No. Base. Bases. Yeah. Acids and bases. <laughs> And then at the very last like 10 minutes, he's like, okay, now we're gonna, we had to bring in like an acid or base and I brought in Sprite. I don't know if I already told you that, but we wanted, we were seeing like which, what pH solution it was or pH level. God, you'd think I don't learn anything because I can't even remember. But anyways, we got our test back, you know, the one I was talking about a couple days ago. I ended up getting an 88 which is my lowest test grade but I really thought I was gonna do horrible luckily he gives partial credit so if it's out of 10 points if you get at least the formula right and you do a majority of the work right he might give you like four points or six points something like that so I'm really thankful for that otherwise I probably wouldn't have done very well so <clears throat> That put me in a good mood. I didn't want to leave to go on break and 
like on a bad note because if I would have failed that test I would have just my whole day would have just turned around so anyways yeah I'm done with school I don't have to go back until December 1st actually December 2nd so very very happy I can just be on vacation from now on so I'm going back home now to clean and do laundry it's gonna be so fun just wait till you see how messy my apartment is this is really embarrassing and I can't say I'm ashamed because I have not been home all week and my apartment never ever ever looks like this but I'm about to show you <laughs> this is bad like the first time you see my apartment and it looks like this but it's the truth you guys so I'm about to clean it up and this is what it looks like beforehand and keep in mind like I said it never looks like this so here's a little um, apartment tour overview yeah uh, needless to say, I just walked in the door and set everything down. There were so many cups in my car, like those two, and then this is just full of coffee mugs and water bottles. Those are dishes that I need to put away. Those are dishes that I wash. My sink never has dishes because this apartment has a bit of a bug issue. I need to put all the K cups away. Um... Yeah, up there needs to be organized. There's my Halloween stuff. The pitiful Halloween stuff. Random bag on the floor. And just a nightmare. And then my bathroom. It's crazy. I didn't turn the light on in here. But jeez Louise. Let me see. This is just horrible. And the lighting in my room is also horrible. I mean... Come on, you guys. If you know me, you know that I always keep my room clean. This is really sad. So I'm going to go clean this, and I'll check back with you once this is a different apartment. Okay, I still haven't cleaned anything yet. But the one thing I did want to tell you all yesterday or talk to you about when my camera wasn't working was I went to Sam's yesterday, and I bought the this donut shop coffee. This stuff right here, it, it came with 80 K-cups and I was skeptical whether it would work in the Keurig because it has to have like a white outline on the K-cup, but it did. And then these little things, it was like $6 and it comes with 60 packs or, or whatever. And I thought that it was for K-cups. And then I opened the box and they're just the little, you know, packets. I thought they were K-Cups. I was like, that's a good deal to get 60 K-Cups for $6 of hot chocolate. And, like, I even need 60 hot chocolates. I rarely even drink this stuff. So, for me to get 60 was kind of dumb. But, I figure it can't really expire, can it? I mean, it's just powder. But, you can just run the Keurig hot water and then it'll taste like hot chocolate. So, anyways, what I was going to ask you all is if you have a Keurig, um... What kind of coffee do you get? Because I like regular, like medium roast coffee, but what's a good coffee that you guys have that comes in K-Cups? Because I don't have um, a regular coffee machine anymore. And I got this Keurig, and it came with these Swiss. These are actual K-Cups. So that's why I wanted to get more, because they were so good. And then it came with this Pike, Pike Place medium roast Starbucks. I tried that because it also came with this like sample. It came with six different pickups and Starbucks was one of them. It was really good. And the Snapple um, lemon iced tea. I was kind of like eh, at first but I got used to it and it was really good. And then this is the Keurig that comes with the carafe and it, what is this? This is a variety pack and basically this carafe can brew up to 30 ounces of coffee so it looks like that it has this green dot on it it's pretty big yeah so 30 ounces I don't know why I would even need 30 ounces of coffee but I'll probably take it home for like Thanksgiving so that my mom and I can each have some and then it also comes with four of the donut shop coffee so I like those so if you know of any other brands that are really good let me know and I might try them and just like that I have a clean apartment well I'm about to eat my lunch but 
I mean, it is way cleaner than what it used to be. The only thing I'm waiting on is my laundry that's at the clubhouse. And I'm going to switch it to the dryer after I get back from babysitting because then if I do it now, I'll get back and everything will be all wrinkly and gross. And also, this is really gross. I don't know if any of you all want to even hear this, but I take, like, water bottles or, like, coffee to-go cups or whatever to school and babysitting or whatever. And then if I finish it before you know, I get to my destination, I'll put it in the cup holder, I'll leave it in my car. And then the next day I'll bring a new cup, so then that cup holder is already full. So what I do is, if I'm too lazy, I just put it in the back seat. You know how seats have the little pocket? I just put it in the pocket. So over the past couple months, I've accumulated about five of those cups. And little did I know, each one of them had a little bit of either tea in it or coffee so you can guess what happened all of them were like had like mold on it it was disgusting and yes they were all sealed up so that was really gross so right now they're soaking in hot soapy water and then I'm gonna have to go to the store and get a scrub brush because there's no way I can stick the brush that I have now down in the bottom of those cups and I don't want to throw them all away because they're nice cups I mean they're like the Contigo or the Camelback or Keurig cup, so yeah. Those are the only two things I'm waiting on. Other than that, it's a pretty relaxing day. And also, I wanted to get your opinion real quick. Okay, so right here on this, like, thingy, I'm supposed to have two, like, bar stools. That's actually my piano chair. I don't sit there. But I was thinking, because since this is fall decor, I was wondering, should I, okay, beware, because this is, like, really messy over here. I have my, these are all the cups that are soaking. I mean, besides this cup, that one's not great. But I have my Keurig and, like, the K-cups right there. But I was thinking, should I set up, like, a little coffee thing right there? Thoughts on that? I just got to babysitting. This is, what's your name? Wayland. Wayland. I called him Bo when I got here, didn't I? And I was like, because I haven't babysat him in a long time. Where's his chair? Yeah. We're playing with Legos. Is this his chair? Yeah. I love playing Legos with little kids, but it really ticks me off when they don't have the instructions for the Legos. Yeah, because I then, so much. oh, awesome. Then you don't know, like, that's just a bunch of random Legos. I need the instructions because I might be 20, but I like to build little things with the Legos. Like, I like to follow the instructions. So I'm about to Google, like, how you do it because he has these little zoo guys. So I'm just going to Google Lego Zoo and hope that the instructions come up and we might build something. That is why I babysit because I am a child inside. All right, you want to get to building? Where is the chair? Where's the chair? We're going to look for the chair. He found it. Okay, so I couldn't find it online, so I just had to look at the picture on the box. So the front is all right, but the back is kind of missing. And then we've got a little thing hanging off. Do you like it? Yeah, you can play with it now. We've sorted all of the colors, so it would be easier to find it because at first it was just a disaster. And then look at this little gas pump. That is my shoe. This little gas pump. He doesn't think that's a gas pump. He thinks that that right there is ice. All right, update. We have built a zoo, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm filming you. You can't look in the camera because then it's nothing. You sorted the Legos. He's just watching a show. I'm not really sure he's watching it all that much. And we're just hanging out. You can't look at the screen, man. <laughs> look. If you look at the screen, it's nothing. 
But if it turns to us, we can see it. He doesn't get it yet. Let's see. Is that better? See, but then you just get all shy. You don't talk. Say hi to the people. Say hi, people. Hi. He has a cold. Do you have a cold? So we are just outside, and he's riding his bike. Or, let me rephrase that. He was riding his bike. Now I'm pushing it. We are going on a little adventure. We have to go back to the house, get him in the stroller, go pick up his brother from school, then take them to the church, play on the playground, and then come back to their house. A lot of stuff in a little bit of time, and these little feet need to move a little quicker. Okay, we picked up his brother. We took him to the church. It was really hard following directions from a five-year-old. We ended up having to cross the street, like a main street. And now we're walking back to the house. <sighs> oh my gosh. And there was somebody who had, um, ugh, there was a property back there. They had a teepee. I don't know if that was like their real house, but it was huge. I mean, it was probably as tall as a real house. A teepee. You know what that is? Little things. Little triangle with six popping out. Yeah, I really want to know if somebody actually lives there. I would have filmed it, but... Maybe I'll film it on my way out. I just totally forgot. I'm still getting used to this. I finally got home. That, I don't think I've ever noticed that. That was really ugly. I don't know. Um, anyways, I finally am sitting down. I mean, you guys probably think, oh, you were sitting down when you were babysitting, but no. Finally at my house, relaxing. Earlier, I was just eating my lunch and I had to scramble out the door but I just got back from putting my laundry in the dryer I know so interesting but I opened the washers because I had four washers going I think I spent $13 or so in laundry and each machine is like a dollar 25 or something a dollar 50 um, I had four machines going washers and I opened the first two of them and my clothes weren't in there and I was like okay what the heck so I opened every single washer just to see if somebody else put them in a different washer which doesn't make any sense now that I think about it but they weren't in there and I checked the dryers that were going and I didn't see any and the ones that I didn't see any clothes said zero so I thought they were empty and I went and asked the desk I was like you guys don't take people's laundry out if it's been a certain amount of time because I saw on the contract that if you don't take your laundry out in 24 hours, then they dispose it, which is so bizarre. Like, what if you had stomach bug, like I did a couple weeks ago? I couldn't even walk hardly to the bathroom. And what if I, like, had put my laundry in the night before? I was like, oh, I'll get it in the morning, and then you get sick. I think that's dumb. But anyway, she's like, no one would have stolen your laundry. And I'm like, all right, then try to explain me where it is. So I checked in the dryer and it was in the dryer. It wasn't showing because it was wet and it was sitting down at the bottom. But who would take someone's wet laundry out of the washer and put it in the dryer? I mean, if any of you all have done that, okay. But I would never, like, take someone's laundry out and put it... I don't want to touch someone else's laundry. I mean, my laundry was clean. It just got out of the dr washer, but... Still, I thought that was weird. So, I have to go back and get that in a little bit. But other than that, I'm done babysitting. I went to Walmart. I really don't like Walmart. I just don't like it. The workers there, or at least at this Walmart, they're so rude. So rude. I just can't stand going to the checkout line. Um, and it's just disorganized, and the parking sucks. Yeah. I just, I'm a Target fan, but the reason I didn't go to Target is because I was closer to Walmart, and I just wanted to be home, because I was exhausted. So now I am making chicken pot pie, and I'm going to try this candy cane hot chocolate, and I got Maleficent to watch, so I am just having a quiet night in, and I'm about to edit the vlog, so I will see you all tomorrow with another vlog and then 
uh, Sunday, 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 I might put up a short vlog because I'll be going home and I don't think that we have Wi-Fi because my mom canceled it and we're not getting Wi-Fi until Monday. So there may not be a vlog on Sunday. Not that I said this was going to be a daily vlog thing, but it might be. So yeah, Sunday, I don't know. But hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to follow me on any other social media networks, my Twitter and Instagram are linked down below. See you guys later. Bye!